Hello and welcome to the Wedding Planner Show. This is our fifth programme and I have to say, I know I say it every week and I can't help it, it's going to be a really exciting programme. So I'd like to again welcome you to Jill. Hello, Hello Jill, Hi, thank boy. you for coming today. And as you all know, Jill is Felix Stowe's very own wedding planner. And we're very pleased to have you here. You've shown us some wonderful things, Jill. You. you really have. If you remember last week, we looked at destinations and everything that's entailed with a destination wedding. One thing you're always going to get is the weather, isn't it? If you Hopefully, want if, it. If you want it. If you mm. want a beach, sort of hot climate, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this week, we're sort of carrying on the theme because... Surely you'll need a special wedding dress for a beach wedding. And I just love wedding dresses. I don't know about you. I can't get enough of them. So we're going to look at some wedding dresses. And we're also going to look at what I think is utterly fascinating, beach footwear. You can't wear high heel stilettos, can you? Not if you're getting married on a beach. But how creative you found some beautiful There are a footwear. lot of beautiful dresses out there and footwear. So yes. we'll have a look at some today and see what people think of them. Yes. It might give them some ideas if they're planning a destination wedding. Yes. No, absolutely. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see some wedding pictures. Okay. Thank you. Oh. This is one that we showed at the end of last week's programme. Yeah. Again, I, you know, I think I said it's very practical if you're considering a destination beach wedding. Because being quite short at the front, it's easy to walk in, but yes. you've still got the traditional sort of flurry train at the back. Oh, um, you have. So you? And, and, and it's, you know, it's a very cool dress. It's nothing heavy no, and big. No, light, light and cool is pretty important when you're considering a tropical beach wedding. Yes. Um, no, something I like that, that flows and is easy to wear and carry. Yeah. So that's, oh, I love the front, and you're right. It's very unusual. It's, it's unusual, but also quite practical if you're considering a beach wedding abroad. So right. that's why that one was selected, really. This one, if you want a long traditional dress with a bit of a train, this mm. is something that you might go for. Um, again, when we talked about wedding trends for next year, V plunging necklines is mm. one of the things we talked about. So that's following with the 2015 trend. And again, a traditional bride veil. So, um, but it is so beautiful. It's very it beautiful. A... It's very light, um, for even though it's a long dress with a train. Yeah. So, it, again, that's more traditional, but something you may want to consider if you're flying abroad for your wedding. So you don't have to compromise your wedding no, if you, you don't, don't have want to. No, you don't have to go for a yeah. short style dress. You can still obviously have a long style bridal gown, but um, that's just one of the things that I thought you know would bring oh. to the mix today and see what brides to be think about it. It really is beautiful, it is isn't nice it? Dress, you can't yeah. see quite what it's made of, but I love it. No. And of course, a lot of the weddings, they're on walkways, aren't they? They are, yeah. As well. Even if they're outdoors, mm. you can sort of plan an aisle and maybe scatter it with flowers and various oh. designs or have an arch of flowers, which we've seen on last week's programme. Mm. I think there was one in India, there was one in Turkey. Yeah. So, yeah, it's possible to do So that. you're very creative, aren't you? Is this something that you do or you know... Who to ask? Wedding planners should be mm. quite good with colour mm. and creativity anyway because sometimes they're asked to do that or they should have a good eye so that even people that are administrating the sort of, you know, set up, ah. you can sort of coordinate it and say that looks good or it doesn't look good or that colour doesn't go with that colour and so on. So you should be quite creative as a wedding planner anyway. So you um, oversee You everything. oversee it, although yes. sometimes you do actually do mm. the job yourself. It just depends. Um, on Goodness. the budget and what's required and mm. who's available to do the work. So You have a lot to do, don't wedding you? Wedding planners can do quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah they can. So. How many weddings could you cope with in a year? Because it sounds really busy. It depends on um, you know where your weddings are and mm. how far, how deeply involved you are, whether it's mm. a whole package wedding or whether you're doing a partial wedding you know, mm. or just little bits of a wedding looking for suppliers or whatever. So it really depends. It depends on the area you work in and live in and... Things like that. Every wedding planner is different. You would have a different amount of weddings mm. to cope with. Yeah. But you, you, that's but that's a very optimistic thing to say because you're never saying I'll only do this amount no, or that. No, you can't say that because you yes. you know you, you've got to listen to your clients and what they want. Mm. And I mean, I suppose it's like anything. If the workload gets too much and you mm. get more clients, you can always say I'm sorry, I can't do this, this, and this for you. Mm. But um, ideally, a wedding planner should be able to cope or delegate out a little bit to to people to help her. So, yes, I yeah. could see you doing that very well. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> 
Oh, oh. Another short dress yeah. if you want to get married abroad. I mean, you can get married in a city scene, you know, maybe Paris or Venice in this dress. It doesn't have to be on a beach necessarily. It's, again, something quite light and, and fun and airy. It is. It's so a lovely bodice, isn't it? Is, it? Is, that looks beautiful. quite a structured, yeah, very structured, solid bodice yeah. with a with a you know flo more flowy short skirt. It's very versatile dress. As I said, you could wear this in a city, um, mm. or also on a beach. So, it's are these all designer dresses? No, not all of them. Some oh. of them come from a, a web site called um, angeldress.co.uk mm. and some of them are found on another website called lunadress.co.uk ah. so uh, some of the dresses are as cheap as maybe 100 150 pounds so That's you don't have bad. to pay hundreds and thousands yes. of pounds for a wedding dress so it's well worth getting your wedding planner or yourself to research mm. the dresses that are out there so that's so, actually really another good skill. You can yeah. help um, find a bride a, a dress that she wants yeah. at a or price. Or a dressmaker, yeah. Yes, or a dressmaker, yeah, of course. She wants her yes. own sort of dress designed, or you know, she has her own design and she wants that put together. Yeah, a wedding planner could do any of that. Well, so. um, I think whenever there's a royal wedding, doesn't isn't it that every bride then wants something similar? Yeah, I think Katie you know, was uh, within like yeah. you know minutes. Things are designed based on the royal wedding dresses mm. and put in high street stores. It was a so, nice yeah. dress. Though. It was a lovely I dress. I did like. Yeah, that. it was very pretty. Yeah, <laughs> it was nice. Oh so. gosh. Oh. Okay. Again, a long dress yeah. off um, the shoulder, strapless. Um, I love the front. That you know, it's quite ornate. Yeah, isn't it's it? very ornate. So that, that's something you know. Obviously, brides abroad can deal with. You don't have to have plain, light and airy. You can have a lot of embellishment or flowers or silver. But it's, it's not too much. You it's can not say, over the top. No, no. you so need something a, 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 a bit fraction lighter. A little bit lighter, but you can still have that detail. Um, that's basically what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be totally plain. It's you can beautiful. Still have the, Look at that pleat. Mm, it's gorgeous the way it I falls. should think as she walked, that yeah. would look beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Still got a bit of a train at the back as well. Oh, so. I like that. And and quite cool to wear. Yeah. I've seen some yeah. of the dresses we had the uh, when we first looked at wedding dresses. Mm. You couldn't have worn those on the beach. Not they many of them, though. Quite heavy, quite heavy and weighty, they? yeah. And, and, and full yeah. on the top. Yeah. So, yeah. so do you really have to think about what type of wedding dress you want? It's a consideration, because yeah. obviously something that you may wear in this country might not be as suitable if you're on a beach, you know, in the Caribbean or whatever. So, yeah. so that, but I wonder if brides consider that, because, you know, when you go out looking for a wedding dress... You have an idea of what you want to wear. Hopefully they do. I mean, yeah. hopefully, you know, a dress shop owner or manager will sort of liaise with the bride as well. Yeah. And if she mm. says they're getting married in a different country or a certain mm. resort, they will be guided by the sort of material or, mm. you know, designs that are suitable. But you so, yeah. do that as well, Wedding planners do that, yes. yeah, of course we do. But, so you um, advise. Yeah, yeah mm. you can advise. Mm. So. Gosh, should we any more? Because I love them. <gasps> Obviously, oh. this is, you know, a tropical scene, a beach scene. Um, that looks like a designer dress. No, it wasn't. It was taken no. from um, one of the websites that I mentioned earlier. No, it's not at all. Um, there are some designer dresses coming up, but no, that's not one of them. So it just proves that you can have any sort of design and it doesn't have to cost the earth. So. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I love the one strap. Yeah. I think yeah, that's nice. beautiful. Yeah. And it looks like it's got quite a nice design. Yeah, it's very at sort of front. fitted until the hips downwards and then just fans out. Oh. So, um, in one of the shows, we talked about metallics being popular for next mm. year. So, I've included a metallic dress, which is more sort of Greek style over the shoulder and then flowing from the shoulder down the back um, in a metallic grey. I love um, that. Yeah, I it's really love that. It's very that. unusual. It's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's. Um, oh. <laughs> so this is, I can um, drool over each picture I know, I'm much sure, longer. I'm sure. This um, one we've shown before, obviously it's what I call a Spanish style dress, the way it fans oh. out and obviously it's in layers at the bottom. Um, it might be suitable um, for a beach wedding or destination wedding. I'm just really bringing it to the, the forefront so that brides can see what is available and may want to Do you know those. what? I'd make it suitable. It's so gorgeous, it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, so. I, sp I suppose in a way you could wear most. You can. Anything. It might be a bit heavy on the train, but yes. I, you, you might might not be getting married on a you know a beach. Oh so. yes, of course you've got to yeah. consider that yeah. as yeah. well, haven't you? Yeah. Because you showed us in Turkey, 
You could actually be in a wooded area or, or, or by a lake. Yeah. Certainly by the mountains. Definitely. They were beautiful. So, yeah, so I hope to beautiful. bring a selection of dresses for whatever destination, yes. really. Yes, I, I can't get enough of wedding dresses, actually. <laughs> okay. I, I'm looking for another excuse for more wedding okay, dresses. Okay, I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more to come. <laughs> Okay, again, oh, <coughs> you've got the one shoulder that. strap with a bit of embellishment on the shoulder. That's quite, um, um, you know, quite a, a large embellishment, mm. isn't it? But, but, but it looks beautiful. Well, I think when we talked about the trends, we talked about the possibility of embellishment you this did, year. You did, didn't um, you? Yeah, bows and flowers being sort of oversized. And, you know, so you're saying going is. abroad, you can still be... You can still be trendy. Trendy, yes. yes. You can still be trendy. I love the way it's it's got almost a Greek look yeah, to it. Yeah, again, another it? sort of Greek feel to it. Yes. Um, so maybe if you're getting married in Greece, it might be something you want yes. to consider. Yes, yes. I, I mean, I think that's... I think that's absolutely beautiful. It is a lovely dress, yeah. And, and, and does look very nice for a hot destination. Yeah. Oh, and my again, goodness. this one, you've got the V-neck plunge leg line. Um, obviously, it just fantails out. Oh, I do lovely. like that. And, and that V-neck, again, I can see what you're saying. Mm. It's very in, isn't it? Yeah. And, and you could wear that on a beach, couldn't you? Could you could wear it in this country or on a beach mm. or anywhere, really. Yes, yeah, so as you say, they're not always on the beach, no, are they, no, the weddings? So. But that is very... We're back to Naz again, which we showed last week. Um, mm. When you're getting married abroad, you don't always, obviously, have to go for a dress. You might mm. want to go for a cultural theme oh. and take on board, you know, the culture of that country. Yes. This was Naz's hen night, but I have known people to get married in traditional Turkish Ottoman-style really? costume, like the one she's wearing. So you can wear the, the long baggy trousers and the tunic, which is heavily oh. embellished and things like that. So it's a possibility. Don't think because you're getting married, you have to wear a dress. You can actually, you know, immerse yourself in that culture. Oh, yeah. um, those kind of clothes in Turkey are supplied in Istanbul and all over the country. So and you'd know where to get them as in well. In Feshiye and Izmir, yes. yeah, especially because they're the areas yeah. I sort of, you know, know most about. But we can research it, we can mm. look for it if that's what a bride wants. Same if you're getting married in India and you wanted to wear a traditional oh, sari. Oh, yes. Um, I've always wanted like to that. wear a or sari. Or kimono in Japan. Anything like yeah. that can be dealt with. So You could a have a really, really stylish, different marriage. Yeah, a different you? marriage. Yeah. Well. yeah. So Wonderful. something brides may want to consider if they're planning. And you could organise that because, you know, yeah. the wish is one thing, but finding no, out how you possible. can do it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. we can organise that. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how we... Oh, my gosh, we could... Oh, that's it's a very beautiful. plain dress, um, which some brides might like if they're getting married abroad. Um, very classical, very simplistic in style, but also very stunning, I think. It is. I love the bodice again. Yeah. That's a beautiful yeah. bodice. So and and simple style. flowers Very simple. as well. That's something else that we need mm. to mention. Um, you know, flowers might be different from what you expect in this country if you're getting married abroad. Oh, right. And that could be because, obviously, the local flowers are different to what you find over here, mm. or the design of a bouquet is totally different from what you might find over here. When I got married in Turkey, it was a simple white star with a red carnation in the middle, and that was a bridal bouquet. Oh, a star made of? It was just sort of made of lace. Oh, I see. Um, oh, I know. I, 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 know I, it was quite a big star, a white yes. star, embellished with sort of little silver sequins, and then just one red carnation oh. in the middle. So brides should be aware that mm. they might not always get a bouquet of their choosing, you know, like they would in the UK. Oh. Um, there's some beautiful flowers and beautiful bouquets out there, but um, often people arrange them with the local flowers and, you know, flora and fauna. Yeah, so. but if I wanted... <laughs> A almost traditional English it can be bouquet. Arranged. It's not, can you, you know, do that? Yeah, it's not impossible yeah. to do at all. Would you do but, that? Um, I mean, I could. Yeah, I could liaise for that to happen. Yeah. I mean, do you get misunderstandings? I suppose I that's suppose what that's I'm a saying. Possibility, yeah. But if you're very specific, and maybe even have a visual that you can bring to the wedding planner, oh, um, yeah. then she can send it on to you know whoever's dealing with the bouquets yeah. in a different country, so that the florist has a better idea of what is expected. So, but if there are problems, mm. um, you know, while dealing with things, then it's the wedding planner's job to report back to the bride. Maybe they don't mm. have a certain type of flower. Mm. Maybe it's out of season. Maybe it's very expensive. They can't mm. get it because it has to be imported. So all these things have to be related back to the 
class. But I'm sure you give her an alternative to consider yeah, you can, as well. Yeah, you can. Maybe different colours or, or whatever. But yeah, it can be you yes. know, done as long as you liaise with your client all the way through. So you anticipate any upsets and um, yes, possible, for the bride. These things can yes. happen. Yeah. So oh, that's nice. So she can have a nice wedding day and doesn't yeah, doesn't have any disappointment. No, yes, definitely yes. for sure. Or awful things yeah. happening. Yes. Yeah. Well, lovely. Oh, I've got this oh, is a little gosh. bit more modern. Um, again, you've got the short style dress, but again with the long train at the back. Um, it's quite um, a little bit more rigid, isn't it? It, it is. has no flow. No, to it. not so much flow. But yeah. again, something that you may want to consider if you're getting married. But very stylish, and yeah. being short will be easier to yeah, walk in, wouldn't it? Definitely, for sure. I, it, it's actually beautiful. Yeah. I love the um, what is that? It looks like a rose or something. Well, on it's the just front. like a gathering. Yeah, it's gathering. It's beautiful. Embellishment there. Yeah. You have really come up with some very different types I'm of wedding to, dresses. Trying to find yes. different dresses. This is a bit more sort of. Oh my gosh. Ballooning out yes. um, from the waist downwards, but um, again, very practical if you're on the beach. It is and beautifully ruched. Yeah, up, it's isn't beautiful. It? Yeah. Another that 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 uh, constructed bodice, you know, quite yeah. firm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. There's a lot of strapless or, or singular shoulder straps. That is gorgeous. Dresses right. available. So. Yeah. yeah, I could see that suiting. Oh my goodness! Now me. this one um, is a wedding dress. This is from a designer in Turkey, in Istanbul. And the reason I bought this in is to show brides that you don't have to, if you're getting married in Turkey, for example, you don't have to get your wedding dress in this country. There are wonderful designers and wonderful shops really? in Turkey. Oh. Um, so this is just one such thing. And if you are considering marrying abroad and you do want to go and get your wedding dress abroad, then obviously you don't have to worry about transporting it on the airline. Of course, um, yeah. Just worry about transporting it back, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So that's but that was stunning. That. that was beautiful, that beautiful sort of pinks. And, Something um, out of, you know, American film, very, wasn't it? Very. Yeah. So, you know, brides may want to go over and have a look and see what there is available you know, in a certain country, or look online and maybe choose a dress. It's um, a wonderful thing, the internet, it isn't is, it? Yeah, you can see so many things. It's fantastic, yeah, for brides. But, but that was, I mean, look at it. It's, it is beautiful. It's, so, it's such a romantic mm. dress, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, full. Um, I love stunning. the embellishment of roses on the yeah, shoulder. And it just adds a different genre to yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah. No, that is absolutely gorgeous. And are the dresses, do you think, cheaper or...? Better or is there anything? I wouldn't say better, but I think mm. they're comparable, and, and often they are a lot cheaper than you would find in this country. Yeah, right. I mean now with the internet, there's a lot of online yes. sort of services where brides can buy bridal gowns or bridesmaids dresses cheaply. But um, yeah, in Turkey, you can get a designer dress probably a bit cheaper than you would get a designer dress over here. Oh. Would that be difficult, though, because you generally go over there just before your wedding, don't you? It depends. Um, I mean, anything's yeah. possible. It depends on the bride. If she wants to go over and, or if she's a regular traveller to that country, she oh, may decide yes. to look for her bridal gown over there. So, or having just, her um, hem party or over there. Or having her hem party And there, then getting yeah. a wedding dress, you know, to... It, exactly. <laughs> it's just a consideration. I'm just sort of throwing out the possibilities yeah. there that... Can They're consider. lovely. I'd love to have a hen party, I know, wouldn't you? Yeah, and then not? go back and get married. Yeah, it'd be nice. So yeah. yeah, I could see how that works. Yeah. Oh, so. that. I mean, a lot wonderful. of people now obviously have holiday homes in places like Turkey or Greece, so they might be travelling out there on a regular basis anyway, oh. or no relatives or friends yeah. that have property out there. Well, Turkey's so. definitely um, a destination, isn't it? That definitely, it's a very lot popular more people nowadays. are going yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. Yes, yeah. no, that sounds yeah. smashing. I, I don't. Oh, oh, I this say. is um, earlier when I was talking about Naz's hem party. These yeah. are again from an Istanbul designer, and it just shows the bride that you do not have to have a white or ivory dress. You can immerse yourself in the culture of that country where you choose to get married, and these are traditional sort of Ottoman empire dresses that you might want to consider wearing so that's really why i bought them along if they you want a wedding stunning. dress that are a bit different yeah, yeah. So. look very warm though possibly but i mean mm. you could get married in maybe istanbul you know um oh. outside of the summer season because it is a bit cooler yeah. there or izmir you know you don't have to get married in a beach resort so again just throwing the ideas out there for yeah. people to consider similarly oh. with india or you know if you want to get married in japan you might want to consider something a bit more mm. cultural. Yeah. Maybe a second marriage as well. Maybe, you know, you maybe. don't necessarily, no. do you, want to go no. for 
the traditional no. wedding dress a second mm. time. Exactly. No, so fun. anything's a possibility. Yes, so or maybe even lovely. for bridesmaids' dresses, maybe. I love the red one. Yeah. That's I mean, obviously, these are just two examples. Yeah. There's obviously variations on themes of lighter clothing or darker clothing, heavier fabrics or whatever, or lighter fabrics. So, but it's, it's just an something. interesting country. They seem to have so many creative areas to mm. them. Yeah. I'm, I'm just and. I'm not sure everybody would know that. So No, it's the same little things like the favours that you would have on your wedding reception tables. Um, in Turkey, the patisseries out there do some fabulous favours um, that are so are they? little favours, you know, like sugared almonds and things oh, like that. Right, I yeah. mean, that's traditionally what favours were, but oh, they right. don't have to be sugared almonds. You could have anything in them these days. But the way that they package them and design them is a bit different to what you would find over oh. here. So if you're having your wedding abroad, you may want to consider, you know, looking at local um, suppliers yeah. and see what there is available. You make um, it a different wedding and, a different and, 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 and an different. enjoyable, yeah. you know, learning. Yeah, and it's curve. nice for the guests too because they'll be taking away yeah. something a little bit different from their, you know, trip to your destination wedding, wherever that might Gosh, be. I want to go to one. <laughs> I don't know if we've got any more. Yeah, I'm so greedy. This is oh, another yeah. Turkish <gasps> dress, um, again, from Istanbul, but I'm just picking out designers from Istanbul, but they can be from any part of Turkey. And this is to show um, brides that, obviously, mm. last week we talked about the embellishments of metallics and silvers yeah. and things like that, and obviously this is something that I've picked up on That's in this show. That's beautiful. That yeah. is be so they So... That their styles are very much in line with the latest styles over Can be, here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, in Istanbul, mm. especially, you've got tip top designers that are following the trends just as you would, oh. you know, any designer looking at the New York um, fashion shows mm. or London or Milan or whatever. So, yeah, they are available out yeah. there. And I'm then surprised. Course, I'm, I'm really surprised and pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Well, textiles is yeah. a big industry in Turkey anyway, oh, in yeah. Istanbul and Bursa, which is a city a few you know miles away from Istanbul. Right. So it's their thing. They can you know they can produce textiles and, and creative things with fabric very easily and quite cheaply compared to what we can do. Yeah. Um, and you've showed us some very romantic looking dresses. Yeah, they're they not are all like that, obviously. Beautiful. I mean, you know, I have a whole catalogue of, yes. of dresses that come from Turkey and they're all very, very different like they would be in this country. But it's just... You can't see everything. No, I'm shame. I'm, I'm no. really sorry to hear that. <laughs> the programme will be very long. But it's just showing yeah. brides yeah. who are in this country what is available and what to think about if you're going to plan your wedding abroad. You mm. don't have to do everything in this country. You can maybe go a little bit earlier... Um, yeah. or shop around or take a trip there before if you can afford to do so and mm. you know just scout around or use the internet for inspiration it yeah. just makes it a very exciting mm. if you've got wedding, the time and the inclination anything's possible or a wedding planner or a wedding planner because yeah. actually um i suppose if i was a bride i'd just come to you tell you what i want and you do it yes yeah, well, Fabulous. Job, well, how good planner. is that? Yeah, exactly. No, so. no stress, no worry. No, well, that's yeah. the whole aim of being a wedding mm. planner. You hopefully take any stresses and strains away from the bride and groom, mm. and they just concentrate on, you know, going to their destination, whether it be in this country or abroad, and having a lovely day. Wonderful. So, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. I, oh gosh, look at that. This <gasps> is um, another designer in Turkey. I don't know whether you can see it clearly, but. The top part is feathers, it's yeah, white feathers, yes. um, and obviously wow. in the headdress. So rather than use roses or, you know, sort of bows and things, um, this particular designer, Osgul, has decided to use feathers. So it's another consideration for us, might. I do you know. like that. Yeah, that it's really unusual, is. it is different, yes. and it's nice. So. That really is stunning. Yeah. I, we, have we any more? I don't know. Or have we finished our... Our dresses yet. So <gasps> oh, 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 oh. This you couldn't wear that on a beach, could you? No, but you could wear it at a destination wedding, maybe, um, you know, if you were getting married to Paris, Spain, somewhere like that. Yes. I mean, you know, we've concentrated a lot on beach weddings in tropical areas, but yes. obviously um, people don't have oh. to get married on a beach. Uh, so I would forego the beach for a dress like that. Lovely, I it? would. Yeah. It's it is stunning, beautiful. absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah. You found such beautiful dresses. Well, you hopefully really a have. variety of dresses, so yes. at least it will get people's minds working and, and see what's out there, maybe. Yes, you know, to have such a choice. Yeah. There's a, That's uh, a bigger huge. choice than a shop, because, I mean, I've been into wedding dress shops, and although they're full of dresses, 
they don't have the variety of styles no, that, I mean, that you, you know, produce. Thankfully, I can produce that sort of mm. board of, of different styles, short, long, you know, heavy fabrics, light fabrics, yes. cultural fabrics, as we saw with the Turkish dresses. It really so, allows you to think yeah. very clearly Hopefully. on what sort of wedding you want. And of course, then at some point, we're going to have to do bridesmaids, you know. Yes, well, we will do that. We will do that. <laughs> oh, Mothers I can't the brides wait. And hats and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. And, more um, dresses. And, yeah, more dresses and gloves. We've talked <laughs> oh, about gloves, gloves before. We haven't yeah. actually seen many gloves yet. So, Fantastic. yeah, all that kind of thing. Accessories and things yeah. will be touchable. Oh, touched look at this one. This one um, has been shown before. Yes. Again, I've chosen this to, to bring it back because um, it's short, it's practical, it's light. And if you are on a beach area or in a very hot climate, it may right. be just the sort of dress that you would consider. That is that 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 you could see that, couldn't you? Yeah. And it's yeah. very pretty. Yeah. Um, or even okay. for a bridesmaid, maybe if it's in different colours, you might consider that. Right. Um, oh yes, that's, that's another quite sort of light, light and airy. It? Yeah. Yes. Yes. There's a the lacy sort of dress. Yes. It's a definitely a variety. Yeah. With yes, the low back. Good. <laughs> I was just wondering if we had any more wedding dresses. I don't know if you've gathered, I quite like them. <laughs> but I think, oh, we've got one more. This I one, um, mm. we've seen this one before as well. Mm. Um, this is some bushfire photography um, that we used when we were talking about photographs. And again, you know, it's very classical in style, mm. beautiful sort of train and back. But it's something that a bride might want to consider. Very it's stunning. just having a, a sort of more city orientated wedding yeah. abroad. But stunning, um, look at that yeah, at the bottom. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm looking at our time, and I know we've got the footwear to go on yes. to as well. Yeah. So I, I don't know if we've sort of just about finished our dresses now. A shame, but I've seen the footwear, and I have to tell you, it's worth looking at. Yes, that's all, you know, and I'd like to get that in today I'm as sure well. We will. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure we'll Do you know, the time goes so quickly. It does. It does. And I don't know about you, but we have hardly seen anything to do with <laughs> weddings, and yet we've done such a lot as yeah. well. Yeah. Goodness me, you must have books and books and books. I do have quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this oh. is a shoe, if you want to heal, I mean, as I said, destination weddings, you don't have to get married on a beach. So if you're getting married in a city environment or a more built up environment, or you want to heal, this is something that you might consider. That, that's a little very bit pretty, of netting. not too high a heel Not either. too high a heel. Yeah. So, but with a little bit of netting embellishment at the front. Lovely. Deep turn. And then the next oh. pair, obviously satin, um, quite low heeled. Mm. Slingback sandals. Um, Has a sort of 60s, 70s yeah, look about them, yeah, don't it they? Does. Yeah, So it may be something yeah. that a bride might want to consider so yeah. for her wedding. Again, you can wear that sort of maybe yeah. on a beach or maybe in a, a city environment, a more built up environment. So, <gasps> oh, I love them. These are the footless sandals that we talked about, I think, in the past yes. when we looked at mood boards. Yes. Um, these come in a variety of designs. Some straps go up the ankle or up the oh, thigh right. um you know the like lace ups and you can lace up the shin yeah. right up to the knee oh, or whatever right. yeah. so that kind of thing if you so had a shorter dress then if you, you had a shorter dress that. it's a possibility yes that so, sounds really nice and there's another pair there these are more lace <gasps> oh, orientated look at, so there's no bottom to no them, bottom there? they're literally just embellished at the front because if you're walking on sand it's very hard to walk in sandals with a heel obviously or shoes with a heel mm. So some brides choose to forego a shoe altogether but still want something pretty oh. on their feet. So that's why they wear these barefoot sort of sandals. That um, was stunning. Yeah, yeah, it is Absolutely unusual. Stunning. This oh, is a goodness. photograph that is taken of, obviously, the bride and the guests yes. wearing barefoot <laughs> sandals. Um, so and, guests can get them as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And in some cases, there are, you know, um, they have little boxes or very pretty mm. bags on the beach where female guests and male guests can actually help themselves to flip-flops or to oh, footloose sandals nice? as well. That's a, a nice gesture that maybe yes. you'd want to consider if you're getting married on a oh, beach that somewhere. that sounds really yeah. lovely. It's a very low sandal again, but very pretty, embellished with the flowers. Oh, they are. Rich flowers they are sweet. Roses. 
So you want them to be seen as well. They are beautiful, you? yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of these you want to oh, be seen anyway. Yeah. There's a little flip-flop style with a nice little... Oh, that is pink lovely, flower, isn't then, it? Pink rose. So. Simple but beautiful. Yeah, the classic sort of satin pump, you might mm. want to consider that because it's easy to walk in. Yes. Know, whatever the environment. Yes, if you don't want to be quite barefooted, yeah. so, that's a good um, idea. Because sometimes you can go into places and out. Exactly, you, so. exactly. So it might be a bit easier to walk yes. in. So, so that's, that's another that's consideration. Lovely. And these are crocheted, sort of espadrille type shoes mm. that maybe a bride might want to wear. Um, they look comfortable. Yeah, mm. yeah. So again, just sort of bringing different ideas mm. out there, so the bride and groom can consider what's there. Yeah. Um, Lovely to have those options, definitely, isn't it? Definitely. Yes. So I think that's yeah. smashing. Yeah. So I don't know if we've. Oh, we've got more. Oh, this that's is for the man. Yes, this can be for oh. the groom or any of the male guests. Um, oh, well done. We've got something, something for, for the, the men. For the, the men. Last. Yeah. So. <laughs> that, that's yeah. very manly looking. Yes. So, I mean, a lot of men, when they get married abroad on the beach, they want to wear a white suit or maybe just white trousers or beige trousers with a mm. light coloured shirt or something like that. So again, like the bride, they might find it easier to walk barefooted mm. on the sand. So this is something that you might want to consider wearing. Right. No, absolutely lovely. I love those. So, oh. And these are a bit more romantic. Oh, um, aren't they? They're very pretty. Maybe, you know, something that bridesmaids could wear as well as the bride. Um, but yeah, so it's really for a wedding. simple, but gorgeous. It is, and as I said, you know, the, the yeah. lace ups can go around the ankle and even up to the, the shin area. Yeah, you can just tie them how you want. I think so. that's really lovely. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, oh, this oh, is, is what I was talking about the little ah. sort of bags where you have free shoes for the, um, the male and female guests to walk on the sand in, and it could be filled with flip flops, it could be filled with the footless sandals that we've seen. I think that's a very kind gesture. Mm. I presume it's not terribly expensive. No, no, not terribly. I mean, obviously, you know, it'll have a cost. Are, yeah, it yeah. will have a cost, but it's just something mm. else you might want to consider yes. doing for your wedding. And then we're back to the original. The original shoe. one yeah. again, which is so, a very lovely shoe yeah, as well. Yeah, which can be worn as anywhere say, in this country as well. For brides getting married in this country, maybe a spring or summer wedding, you might want to yeah. consider that. All those shoes need to be seen, don't they? They do, really, yes. yeah. So, as I said, oh. I've just bought a selection for people to That's look at smashing. and see what they think. You've really done us proud today, Hopefully. I have so, to say. Yeah. And do you know what? I can't tell you, we're running out of time. Oh, are we? I think we're overrunning oh, today. <laughs> but you have to look at these beautiful well, it's dresses. it's good to have a selection and yeah. show the public what's available out there, yeah. Right, so we haven't finished everything, though, have we? Um, I don't think so, no. No, we're very, very quickly looking at... Um, what is this? Well, this is hair and makeup. Um, I mean, on, in future programmes, we will look more specifically at hair and makeup. Mm. But this is from a Turkish um, catalogue, oh. and it just proves that you can go into, a, a, you know, hairdressers in Turkey or wherever mm. you're getting married and have your hair done nicely and put your hair piece in place if you're oh. a bride or a bridesmaid or whatever. Um, but it is worth noting that in Turkey, I do know that when Turkish women get mm. married, they tend to wear their bridal gowns and headdresses and have their hair and makeup done, mm. along with their bridesmaids, mother of the bride, that kind mm. of thing, and have a photographic shoot before their actual wedding, and then do the same again on their wedding day and have more photographs taken. Oh. So it's quite common to sort of have a sort of pre-run of um, what you're going to wear and your hair and makeup. Okay. So maybe brides getting married abroad might want to consider doing that if you've got the time, the inclination, mm. you know, the money. So that's days beforehand. It can it? be days beforehand. Oh, yeah, right. a few days beforehand. This is um, an example of jewellery again from Turkey because I just wanted to show the public that you don't have to buy your wedding rings mm -hmm. in this country before you go. Mm -hmm. um, Turkish jewellers jewellers are fantastic. They've got all sorts of designs. You can have any colour of gold. You've got white gold, rose gold. You know traditional yellow gold, mm -hmm. and they start from fourteen carats upwards. So they don't really have nine carat gold like we do in this country. They don't sort right. of bother okay. too much with that. So you're looking at sort of 14 carat gold, 18 carat gold, 24 carat Gosh. gold, which is obviously quite pliable and thin. Yes. But there are options out there. So if you've got the time, you might want to go and visit jewellers out there and buy your wedding bands in that country, for example. And it usually works out a lot, lot cheaper. And you have a lot more designs than you would have in this country. So, there's a lot going for a de uh, yeah, you know, destination wedding. Yeah, there's things that maybe people wedding. don't realise um, mm. about Turkey especially, and mm. I'm sure you know, other countries 
uh, you know, if you're looking at India or if you're looking at the Middle East to get mm. married in, obviously they specialise in certain styles of gold and, and carrots of gold tend to be higher than what we find here. So you might want to think about that as well. There's a lot going mm. for it, isn't it? That is so helpful. This is um, the cake we <laughs> talked about before. This is a, one yeah. of a, an example of a Turkish wedding cake um, being several tiers high. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they don't have to be curved. Seven. That's just the way it's displayed. Mm. It can be sort of straight up like we would find in our sort of two, three, four tier cakes here. But it's just really an example of what you may find from right. a patisserie in Turkey if you wanted to hire your cake there. That's stunning, um, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is stunning. Goodness. And in the little pictures, it's mm. not always clear to see, but there are different styles of um, things that you can have at your reception. Mm. Obviously, you've got the balloon arch there, which you mm. can have in this country mm. or you know abroad. You've got fireworks, which we spoke about before. We saw, didn't um, we, as yeah. well? They were lovely. So, and also oh. confetti. I know in America, sometimes they, they throw rice like we do in this country, or mm. they have bubbles. They blow bubbles. The guests blow oh. bubbles. So different countries might have different yeah. traditions rather than just throw confetti as we know it. Which is nice. It is nice, yeah. Because sometimes you can go to lots of weddings in one year, can't you, where all your friends are, are marrying. There's yeah. an age group, yeah. isn't there? So to have a wedding that's slightly different. Yes, to do something a bit different. Yeah. I mean, the bubble thing can be done in this country. It doesn't yeah. have to be. You know, specifically. Get your wedding planner. <laughs> She'll sort it out for you. So they're just ideas that, you know, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Jill, you're about. stunning. You've come well, up with many, many more ideas hopefully. today. Yeah. Lots to think about. So thank you very you're much welcome. for coming today. And I, I can't wait for next time. I don't know what we're doing next time. We'll keep that a secret, I think. And, and we'll have something to look forward to. Because if there's one thing I do know, it's going to be good. Hopefully. And interesting. <laughs> yes, it will. So thank you so much, You're Jill. It's been a lovely show today. Thanks. And thank you so much for sharing it with us today and hope to see you next week. Thank you.